So we are three weeks away from our current visas expiring. My wife and I have been in New Zealand for two years and seven months. Time flies. This channel has been going on for quite a while now. In the foreseeable future, this was supposed to be the end of this chapter, the end of New Zealand. And the worst part about it was that uh, New Zealand is short on labor. New Zealand needs workers. The, with the COVID shutdowns, they're still not letting in as many migrant workers and they're not letting in new working holiday visa holders come in. And right now in the Southern Hemisphere, we are approaching the winter season and being in Queenstown, Queenstown is gonna be just bursting at the seams with tourism, especially now that the Trans-Tasman bub bubble has been opened and Aussies can now come into New Zealand. We can see it, we're seeing it with our very own eyes, the hostel is full of Aussies from all over, Adelaide, Brisbane, it's awesome. And it's only gonna increase as, as uh, we get close to the end of June, the end of this month, it is going to be school holidays in Australia. So that means that families are going to begin coming over. So labor shortages. New Zealand is facing a labor shortage crisis at the moment. There are 13,000 migrant workers that are protesting on the steps of the Beehive saying what's happening with our permanent, resident, uh, permanent residency applications. Immigration New Zealand has basically been sitting on them for about a year now and they don't know what's happening. ADECO in Wellington, their uh, recruitment agency, they announced that the number of job adverts has surged, has gone up 65%, yet despite that, job applications per advert has dropped 14%. So that says something. It says that the people are there, the labor is in New Zealand, but they're not getting the applications approved and they're not getting the extensions. And for several weeks, nobody knew what was happening. We're talking to backpackers. They're like, I can't afford to just stick around and wait and hope that they extend our visas. And we were in the same boat. We're three weeks away from the expiration date of our visas and we have to sell the car. We have our, to book a flight out of here. We have to sort out all of our things, our camping gear, all that stuff. And we couldn't plan that far ahead. We didn't want to do it too prematurely because New Zealand, when they, they last extended the visas back in October, November, around that time, it was super last minute. And it's like you're on your way to the airport and then you read the news only to find out that your visa was extended for free automatically, but too little, too late for some people, unfortunately. It was coming down to the wire. But then um, last night, someone posted a link to an article from a news outlet source called The Indian Weekender. Now, I've never heard of this, uh, this um, outlet before. But anyways, this was exciting. But at the same time, we had to question the credibility of this article. So we have here a, a picture of Chris Fafoy. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, with the title, Changes to Entre Visas to Provide Certainty to Employers and Visa Holders. Holy crap, I hope this is the good news that we've been waiting for. Queenstown needs the workers. This article kind of backed up that claim and that, that demand from employers and from backpackers saying, just extend our visas. It's a, it's a straightforward answer. Now's not the time to do an immigration reset. Now's not the time to try to shift the focus to higher skilled New Zealanders to get them to work the jobs. Because historically, you don't see Kiwis working on the fruit farms. You don't see Kiwis working on the vineyards. You don't see Kiwis relocating to Queenstown for seasonal low paying work. It just hasn't happened. That gap has always been filled by working holiday visa holders. For them not to do anything and to just let these visas expire and to let us leave would be crazy, ludicrous. So this article here gave us a bit of hope. It basically outlines everything that the people have been wanting, what employers have been asking for, uh, to make sure that they have enough workers for the winter season. This is almost like a leaked article. Basically, it says here that 10,000 working holiday visas and supplementary seasonal employment work visas due to expire between the 21st of June 2021 and the 31st of December 2021 will be extended for another six months to help manage ongoing labor shortages while New Zealand's COVID-19 border restrictions remain in place. So our visas are expiring on the 30th of June 2021. So we fall into that category and we're on the SSE, the Supplementary Seasonal Employment Visa is the visa that we've been on for the past seven or eight months. Um, this was what was granted to us 
four hour extension. The only problem with it is that it limits you to horticulture and viticulture jobs. You won't have the demand for workers as you would during the harvest season when you need hundreds of fruit pickers and people to drive the quads and all that. So we knew that if we did, even if we did get a six month extension, it would still be restrictive if we were on the SSE. So this line here was the icing on the cake. This was that juicy tomato that I've been wanting to bite into. I don't know why I brought up tomatoes. But anyways, it says here, SSE visa holders will also be given open work rights, allowing them to work in any sector. Um, so Chris Fafoy said that um, it will also put the minds of visa holders at ease knowing that they can stay and work in New Zealand for the foreseeable future. Halle freaking Luya. But again, this is the Indian Weekender. Who is the Indian Weekender? What, like, how credible are these guys? But then this morning, I see on the backpacker, the New Zealand backpacker page at about 7 a.m. They posted an article from an official statement. This is from the Beehive. So beehive.government.nz. The article they posted was verbatim the same article that Indian Weekender leaked the day before. Did you hear the news? Yeah, I was just going to say that. Oh, awesome. yeah. Are you going to stick change around? Your plans? No. Now you're still going to go to us? Yeah. What about you? Oh, we're staying. We're staying. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So that is us. That is where we're at. This is a this is a live update. I still have some vlogs that I need to publish that are backdated. But I just wanted to put this one out there to know that uh, you know that the that Immigration New Zealand has responded to the pleas and cries of employers and current uh, working holiday visa slash SSE holders that uh, we're here, we're available, we want to work, we don't want to leave. So they just simplified the whole process and went ahead with the extending. Um, the SSEs and the working holiday visa holders for six months. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one Hey, <laughs> Chris you're in my video yeah. <laughs> I was just wrapping it up